Hello. Uh, today I'm going to talk about what model you should follow when you're going to start a business. Uh, the first question that it follows is what is business to start up? Well, basically, our entire life we have been thinking about since we were young. Uh, we're thinking about the dream, the dream work, the dream job we are going to have in the future. And sometimes when you start to growing up, you realize that it's not that hard, not that simple. I mean, not that simple. It's not that easy, you know. As I starting to grow up and being more independent with yourself, you have you, you can see through the world that maybe it could be easy for some people because they have the courage to go into themselves. And that's the main goal, you know, like, starting to be yourself and start to work hard for it um, for me for example what is my opinion of a good model example of model of business well I have been doing some researches and I think one of them is just necessary to know because if you don't know this kind of data uh, you would probably in the future. Uh, the first one is innovation. Well, this is like something that every business should have. You have to create something that is unique from the competition. And, and not only about the physical of the of the product you are going to sell. Also, you have to be creative on the marketing you are going to sell. You are going to transmit to your consumer. That's pretty much so interesting for me. Also, there are a lot of many fun ideas like the edge, the percentage of the edge you are going to be focused on it. Uh, for example, you are going to do a. If you are going to create a hamburger, you have to focus on what people is going to be. What? Sorry, I get a little bit nervous. Um, you're going to focus on the market you're going to be directed to them. So, for example, you're co if you're going to choose young people, you have to cre you have to create a menu that has to be interesting for them. Like I don't know, maybe creating a hamburger like with a different shape or different form. I don't know. Uh, also, it has by that one, by that by that one. It has the development of the uh, business, which is the objective of you have to be prepared of what you're going to do, what you're going to develop in your business. And also, another question that it has been following the homework, why can this business model be developed? Well, um, well, for example, there are record key business resources, uh, which is, I think, um, what does your company need to carry out daily process to find new customers and research business, your business goals. And although also uh, there, there is another one that is, that is a little bit interesting for me, is develop a strong body proposition. And by that, I mean, how your company stand out among the competition is like I said before, what makes different from what makes the product different from other the other products. For example, if I wanna, I'm gonna take the same example, uh, Car Junior and McDonald's. What what makes them so different from each other? Maybe one of them is more like homemade burgers, and the other one is more like. Maybe in a delivery, a fast delivery. So they have different. We have different goals. They are going to be focused on it. So you have to be really, um, have to be really interesting about what you're gonna choose and what market you are going to be develop your product or services. Uh, and also you have to create a demand generation strategy. It's also something that I really, I really highly recommend. Unless you're taking a way or first to launch your company, you need to try to build interest on your business. So you have to generate leads and also, sorry, and also design your 
close sales for its own. For example, would would your customer find you where you where you where your store is gonna be located? So that's like the checkpoint of for a list of startup business. And also, it's like I said before, like a big room for innovation. When you are launching a product or develop a business model or services, I don't know where you're going to be on your idea. You have to really focus on based on your main needs and assumptions. So by that, uh, I want to I want to conclude that a, a really good uh, startup business should be something that can suit you with your personality, with yourself. So you have to do something that you really good at it, right? Like, and also you have you have to be really interested about what you're gonna do. So, so by that you have you have to keep trying and then to figure it out one of the work best with your business. So that's like the main idea of this project. So that's basically what I'm gonna say. And thank you.